Oh, well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Slack here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Recently, in my Let's Play world, I had a suggestion to build a uh, graveyard. And when coming up with ideas for gravestone, I stumble upon this little idea for these crosses. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make them. So let's get right into it. Okay there, guys. First off, you'll notice that there's there's two different designs. This one here, uh, the crossbar, uh, which if you haven't noticed already, these are armor stands with uh, fences on them. The crossbar is a little bit lower, and that was the original design that I had made, and I had a bunch of comments saying that it was an upside-down cross, and it was satanic, and it was awful, and you need to fix it. So I designed a way that makes it work better and makes it look more like a cross and less like a, a satanic upside-down cross. Get on with it, they say. Okay, for design number one, it's very, very simple. You've got your uh, armor stand, and we're just going to stack up a uh, three blocks behind it, and with a piston, we're going to push down first whatever you want the ground to be out of, which would be maybe dirt, and then we will put our uh, fence again, yeah, like this. Push that down, and you're done. That is literally all there is to it. It's a very simple idea. And if I put a couple pieces of dirt here like this, like a friggin' ninja, you've got this upside down cross that everybody thinks is, is satanic. It's a pretty simple. I'm showing you how to make it because maybe you're doing an evil place and you want upside down crosses and, and you want to be able to make this. That's how you make it. There you go. On with it to the next design. And we're now right, right, righty there, guys. For the second design, I'm going to uh, not just show you how I did it, but show you like the idea behind how it works so that maybe you can use the idea in a, in a different build. So what I needed to do, <clears throat> excuse me, what I needed to do was I needed to bring the armor stand up just a bit, but I couldn't use a block like a half slab or something to do it because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be able to put the grass block down. I tried a bunch of times with putting, and I'll, I'll show you here and get out of here, cart. I tried a bunch of times with the, the armor stand in, inside of a, a cart here, and I was like, ah, it doesn't raise it up any. And it wasn't until that I, I bumped it. Aha, did you see? Did you see exactly what happened? When it rides in the cart, it is a little bit taller. And because it's in a cart, and this isn't a, a, it's more of an entity and not a solid block, you can push a block into a mine cart and be able to have the grass there like you see. So there's the concept behind it. I'm raising it up just a bit by putting it in a minecart. Now I'll show you how I got it into the ground. So in order to put it into, let's say, and we're gonna use solid dirt, this may be fun. In order to put it into a block, and we keep the same spacing here, you need to dig out the block beside it, like this, and it's gonna end up in this block. We're going to take, also, you can use a torch or a piece of redstone block, I use redstone block, to power these two tracks. You really only need one track powered, but if you're going to make uh, powered tracks, you're gonna get six anyway, so you might as well use them both. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to send it into the ground. Armor stand, now we'll use our, whoops, I already had it, our mine cart, just like you saw before. And once I push it, it's gonna pick it up, but because the track is powered, it's gonna shove it into that block, you'll see. Wa-bam, blam, just like that. Now it's right in the middle of the block where we want, but it's a little bit higher than the other one where we had the issue before. And just like we did in the one beside us, we're going to put a fence in the ground like a demi. Um, here, come in. Yes. We're going to do a tower behind it so we can do pistons. Now, because this is brought up a little bit, it's occupying this block and also this block here. So instead of doing a three high, we're going to have to do four high <clears throat> for us to be able to work it into place the way that we want. So boom. And we want a fence just like we did before but we're gonna have to push it a couple times to get it in there. There's one time, boom, like that. I can even you just put that in there. No matter, you just need a filler block to push it down the second time. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Remove just like we did before, and da 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 ba, -ba. Voila, we've got ourselves a cross for a grave that works really, really cool. Now you have all sorts of fun options. You can, you know, you can terraform this with a little bit of these blocks here. You can use coarse dirt so the grass doesn't grow back. Um, like this one here, you can put a flower in front of it. You know, do it however you'd like at this point. It's just a really cool design and uh, can be used for more than just graves. Uh, crosses for anything that you want. 
Well, there you have it there, gay faces. I hope so very, very much that you liked this video. And feel free to tune into some of my other videos. But until then, like always, I'll be back.